Hey, my name is Anderson East, and I'm on the new Southern Family CD. And today I'll be answering some of the questions you sent in to Bobby Bones uh, to this Ask Anything chat. So uh, thanks to Bobby and everybody with the show. So let's just dive into this. This is Nicole from Colorado Springs. I saw you in Denver, Colorado. Incredibly high energy show. Was it hard to keep up the energy in the high altitude? You went to Aspen the next day. Question uh, mark. Yes, Colorado is uh, it's it is very high up, and uh, the air is thin, and get very dehydrated. And uh, but yeah, the uh, the altitude it, it hurts my feelings. But uh, you know we we power through that, and then uh, yeah, the next day we got a, an IV when we went to Aspen. It was very hydrating and very well needed. And Rosina from Tacoma asks, "What song inspires you the most?" Well, Rosina from Tacoma, I think that is a very difficult question to answer because so many qu uh, songs inspire me all the time for different reasons. Um, but one that comes to mind would have to be Pony by Jenny Wine. Foley from Oklahoma City says, how does a CD like Southern Family come together? It seems there's tons of moving parts. Well, Foley, I'm not really sure the, the ins and outs and the, the making of the record. Uh, I know there's a lot of extremely talented people on there uh, with some really great songs and and the incredible mastermind uh, Dave Cobb was behind all of that along with uh, the great people from Electra Records so we can have them to thank and maybe we can uh, do another one with all of those folks. Uh, Austin from Ewing. I don't know where Ewing is. I wonder. But Austin asks, can you tell me what motivated you to record the Delilah CD? Um, I was motivated to record that. Uh, originally, it just started out because I like making music, and I like making records, and uh, I like writing songs. And so I figured I might as well just combine all of those into uh, this one project. And yeah, that's what you got was Delilah. And Jane from Springfield, how did you get picked to be on Southern Family, and who does the picking? I would say uh, I got picked um, by Dave Cobb, uh, hopefully because he likes uh, the the kind of music I play, and uh, and because we're friends, and and uh, and that's who does the picking. Dave Cobb picked everybody on there. And jo Joanne from Aldershot, favorite breakfast, lunch, and dinner foods. I'm going to say breakfast for all of them. Some pancakes and hash browns with cheese and ketchup, scrambled eggs with cheese and bacon, and sometimes some toast with some raspberry jam. Funky from Macon. Of course you are from Macon. Uh, what towns really stand out? as a must visit when you're planning out a tour. Um, you know, Funky, I don't really get to pick where we go. Um, they kind of just tell me and we show up. Um, but, you know, I there's, there's too many uh, great cities in this amazing country to name in this short Q&A session. Um, but Macon is a very cool town. Um, at least from Italy, all the way around the world, how much contact did you have with other Southern Family artists? Uh, well, about the record, uh, I don't really think any of us really talked to anybody about each other about the record. Um, we kind of just were presented with the concept of what the record was and the title, and then uh, we all just kind of showed up with our collective idea and um, you know song based around that title. So it was interesting getting to hear everybody's um, take on what Southern Family is. Let's see here. Catherine from Monroe. Is there a TV show that you would like to be on to sing? 
Mm, nope. Nadine from Birmingham. If you could cover any rock song for fun, what would it be? Um, uh, rock and Roll All Night by Kiss. Val from Fort Thomas says, what sport do you play that we would be impressed by? Um, I'm not much of the uh, sportsman. <laughs> Val, sorry to tell you. Charlene from Wins Windsor. I read somewhere that you recorded Muscle Shoals. How iconic was the studio you were in? Uh, it was very iconic, I suppose. Um, and that's a great place, Fame Studios. Love it. Uh, Matt from Hartford. Uh, I enjoyed your music very much. Thank you very much, Matt, for that. Uh, I went to MTSU, as did I. Uh, I just wanted to send you a shout out. Well, hell yeah, Matt. Thank you, brother. Kelly from Virginia Beach. How come you went from Michael to Anderson? And uh, it was from a comic Japanese comic book. Uh, and uh, yeah, it was very inspiring. Kara from Boston. What's been the coolest thing about having a song on Southern Family? Uh, I think it's just being on a record with so many uh, amazing uh, people that you know I look up to and consider you know heroes and friends and uh, comrades. So I think that's probably the coolest thing. Sophie from Doyseltown. I'm sorry if I just botched your city's name. Um, who on the Southern Family album that you don't know but you'd like to meet in person? Um, I'm trying to think who's all on there that I don't know. Um, I don't really know. I don't know Brandy Clark, but I really like her music. I think she would be a really fun person to hang out with. Dixie from Cedar Rapids. Love your name, Dixie. It's very nice. Uh, given a choice of a lifetime supply of one candy, which would you pick? Snickers bar, no question. Uh, Daya from Buffalo, what's the first website you look at every morning? Um, probably like Instagram or Twitter or something. I don't know. I don't really have a lot that I look at. Alexa from Jacksonville, what do you do to relax when you're on tour? Um, I sleep as much as I can. Um, Dave from Huntsville. Uh, what's it like working with Dave Cobb? Were you actually in the studio with him? Uh, yes, I was actually in the studio with him. And I've done that several times. It's a lot of fun. He's a very musical guy, very talented, um, and pretty pretty funny dude. He's a great tambourine player on top of all of his other talents. Uh, Victoria from Victoria. I mean, could you have planned that better? What songs besides your own would you have liked to sing from Southern Family? Um, well, Victoria, I'm going to have to be honest, and I haven't heard every song on there. Um, but I think any time I could sing like Chris or Morgan Stapleton, I would, I would take that. Uh, and so, yep, that's I guess that's all the questions. So... Uh, Thank you all for sending in your Southern Family CD questions to our friend Bobby Bones and all the folks at his show. I uh, hope you all had a good time, and go out and get your copy of Southern Family. And again, thanks to uh, Mr. Bobby Bones, and we'll see you all soon.